It's going to be interesting this year. I mean, our, the primary in June, I don't think there's the presidential primary in June. I don't, I don't think there's going to be any uh, uh, suspense <laughs> who's going to win the Democratic primary. Uh, I don't think it matters very much. But I, I think the, the question a lot of us have been discussing in our virtual newsrooms lately is who is going to vote in the fall? Um, in the in the presidential primary, Anthony and his staff have, and I guess under the governor's orders, have made allowances for more people to vote online, which feeds right into this discussion today. Um, it's a problem we have not with elections, but with older voters or older subscribers is they don't like to go online. They don't trust what's online to begin with. Um, you know, sort of an aside, we'll get calls a lot of times, hey, how come you didn't run the XYZ in the paper? Well, we ran 50 of XYZ online. Oh, I don't have a computer, you know? And if, if in the fall, there's still uh, health concerns about coronavirus among staff, uh, poll workers and people voting and how often are machines gonna be cleaned and is it safe to go to vote? The solution for a lot of places may be online and mail-in votes and it could change who votes, I think. Um, traditional demographics have often been, you know, older people tend to vote um, and they are probably in the, the least technologically savvy and trustworthy of what is happening online. You know, we all can probably tell stories of older generations of ours not wanting to ever put their credit card information online thing. So after hearing what may or may not have happened three and a half years ago, <laughs> they may not be willing to do that. And I think um, part of that question of who's going to vote is who's going to be registered. We've missed three months of registration drives and going door to door to get people to vote to i'm mean, sorry to register and it's that will continue through the summer um a lot of that will just come through you know social media and not a lot of older people and um some minority groups have access or uh, the connections there so it can really skew in a lot of places i think uh, or at least we predict the demographics of who ends up voting in these elections